Hi everyone, welcome uh, to Video I... Tuesday. I'm Anne Stokes and this is my husband, John Woodward. Now, as you can see, right on my page, we got married last week in California. Which A week very ago exciting. today. Thank you so much for all your good wishes posted on the page. That was really touching to read them. Anyway, on with what we're doing today. So Absolutely. today, we are really looking forward to telling you all about our online cosplay competition. And we are going to show you some of the wonderful entries. And at the end, we are going to announce the winner who is going to be the proud owner of this magnificent trophy. And everybody else that has entered will be getting one of these special medals. We have really enjoyed seeing these, haven't we? There's been so oh, much indeed. creativity. Oh, and we are going to now show you um, the first one, which is Yasmin. Now, Yasmin, is just nine years old and she has cosplayed Protector. And she's done a really awesome job, hasn't she? I mean, all the details she's got here, she's got the armband, um, she's obviously got a wolf, her soft toy wolf and yes. a cloak. And she's even gone out and found a suitable large rock. Yes, to pose that's on, great. She yes. matches the scene in the picture. So I think that is a very, very good entry it there, Yasmin. And we can just see here then some details close up there. That's she's nice got the, the armbands, yeah, ribbons and, and even her boots Aww. there. She's got the furry. Oh, yes, she's got the boots on there. I'm glad she didn't choose a cliff to pose on like your picture, but that's that's a lovely setting. <laughs> very well done, Yasmin. So there. Now we have Nikita and plushy Spark. Now Nikita has chosen Phoenix Rising. And I think you can see there that uh, she's done an amazing job. And when you compare that to the picture, it's just, I think it's, it's really good. But what is really fun about this is dressing up of Spark. Now Spark must like this because he's looking <laughs> through those little, little eye holes. Yeah, which Nikita has made. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And there's his wings. Aren't, aren't those fan fantastic? Yeah, she's she's got the, of... the feathers coming up there. It's really interesting that she sent us these sort of detailed shots. Yeah, yes, I think they have. And you'll, you'll see with some of the others. But that, that's, that's really fun, Nikita. And there he is with his, his little tail on there. Oh, bless him. So, very well done to them both. Well done, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Nikki's with Spark. Now, we have Sarah. And Sarah is Raven. Yeah. And oh my goodness, she wow. is, isn't she? Is she? It's Look picture. at that amazing that costume. Is... Phenomenal. Now, as you wow. can see, this is a very close match to my um, painting, Raven. And even she's put the background in there, like, too. And it's interesting to note that the figurine of Raven is actually slightly different mm. to the painting. In my painting, the dress was really more bordering on like a dark gray black color. And we thought for the figurine that this might not be as interesting with her all just in gray and black. So the dress was actually tweaked slightly. Yes. Um, to make slightly. it a little more blue. Uh, which you could say actually, if the if the painting had been lit differently, maybe it would have been maybe a little more blue. Yes. So it's yes. not inaccurate. But this is really what um, Sarah has based her, her costume on. And um, she has written some things to her about this, which I'd like to read you out here. She says, um, I've always loved this powerful image of Raven. And um, one of the things that she points out is she learned some new techniques when making this costume. Uh, she learned thermoplastics to make the mask and the corset. And she looked at a number of YouTube tutorials uh, she said she used five meters of lovely grey fabric, uh, ten meters of EVA foam, wow. and um, when she was making the pattern um, for the feathers on the wings, it involved counting every row. And she says the corset alone took about a week solid to make. Wow. She says, well, my partner is very relieved now that the crafting is over <laughs> and the lounge kitchen will soon not be taken over by large pieces of foam and brown paper. Well, well done oh, to Sarah's know, partner yes. too for um, you know putting up is. with all that. Well, that's amazing. The attention it? to yeah. detail in all this is just Look incredible, at those isn't it? Very, very incredible. well done, Sarah. Well done, Sarah. Okay, and next we have uh, Jessica with Safe Haven. Now, there's a little tale behind this because Jessica entered last year and she entered as siblings <laughs> isn't that great isn't that great and she was pregnant then she was but now the dragon has grown okay. and she says <laughs> our wee dragon egg has grown into a speedy little dragon which certainly has and there we are there we see him isn't that gorgeous there it look at that that is lovely now she says, I chose Safe Haven this year because I'm grateful that as a mother, my arms are a safe place for my boys. Isn't oh. that true? Well, isn't that lovely? 
It is. Um, and it's a lovely little outfit there. She says that um, the cloak was purchased from a, a, a vendor at a Renaissance festival and the dragon costume came from a thrift store. Now this just shows that you, you know, you, when you're going to do a costume for maybe next year, you can you can source these things from anywhere. Absolutely, you can you can make it, which obviously make is super it. creative. Yes. But it is very creative to go and find those things that match it is. and put the outfit together. Because you know in your mind what you want, I think and uh, Jessica's done a lovely Isn't job it? there, hasn't she? That's really great. So now we have the next one. Now this is Johanna, and she has done an absolutely spectacular job of yes. harbinger. She has. Look at that. Look at that. That is super accurate and the pose is just perfect, That's isn't it? Lovely. I think now this is one thing that Johanna has illustrated here. That this is also um, part of the creativity that you can do with the online contest is that you can compose the photograph. Yes. So when we've done the version of this at the Fantasy Forest Festival, of course, people just turn up on our stand and they're there in the costume and the background's you know, just the stand. Just the stand. Uh, but you know. with these photographs, you can choose either to stand in front of something appropriate. Yes. Or here, Johanna has, has um, uh, used some of her uh, computer design skills and has put a couple of backgrounds in. That's great. So she's also written something about this costume. And she said she's made the outfit from scratch and using hand stitching only. Wow. The pattern making fabric cut and sewing process alone took me two weeks to complete and required a billion hand stitches, which is why I worked almost 24 seven on this project. Um, she said she needed over five meters of fabric for the super wide skirt. Wow. She had to cut the fabric on the floor because no table was big enough. I can imagine, yes, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, she said like, she used her own photo material when creating the background scene by combining combining two different photos mm, and she drew on abstract lines to represent the wings. Wow, oh, that's gosh, marvellous. That. Now attention for detail, Absolutely. just look at those eyes as well. Yep, and the little um, edging on the ribbon. It's amazing, so well done. Very, very well done, Joanna. Well done, Joanna. Now, here we have, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly, Danye? I hope so, because this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it, yeah, there's yeah. the water dragon. Now, isn't that adorable? Now, Danya has, has got, again, our little plushie. There he is, taking a little bath. Whether this is in a hot tub or a swimming pool, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there she's it is. She's in the water. She's in the water. And just <laughs> well look done. at the detail I there. Ever, yeah. She's got the tattoo there, yeah. she's got the armband, she's got the little elf ears, and a little tiara on top there. Isn't that amazing? Really, That's really lovely. top job. And then here are some lovely extra details. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Gosh, you look like a Disney princess. I That's know, amazing. I, know. I think that really captures the, the spirit of the, <laughs> the picture, so, Well, the plushies enjoyed himself there. Absolutely. That's lovely. Very well done. Well done, Daniel. Now, we have Kelly, who has cosplayed Dance With Death. That's good, isn't it? So she's done a top job there. She has set up um, a skeleton behind her with the wings. Her costume is very accurate. She's got the mask, and she's even put down tiles. She's got the checkered floor as well. On the floor, just like that. to that's match the artwork. So I think that that's a really top job. And um, again, there's another image there to show us wow. um, a view from the other side. And um, she's posing well done, just Kelly. perfectly with her leg up. Yes. Her figure. So um, very well done, Kelly. That's lovely. Very nice, Kelly. Uh, now we have Verity, who's. Uh, Cosplay is the power of three. Now, isn't that adorable? I think that is that is amazing. <laughs> I love um, the little wolves. I think they're gorgeous. Look at them. Uh, but then also the attention to detail here, uh, Verity, is, is is amazing. You've got the you've got the little. If I move that picture up there, yeah, so there we go. There's the picture. Look, she's got the eye detail there. She's got the the necklace I think pendant. She's made that especially. I think that's great. And the shoulder wrap is. And the shoulder angry. wrap. Got yeah. the ripped jeans. Got little ripped yeah. jeans. Verity, brilliant. That's it. excellent. That's the power of three. Absolutely, top top. Now, we are going to show you Zara. And Zara is the amazing cosplay of Arachnopharia. Now, Zara actually came along to the Fantasy Forest Festival where she entered and she's just written some notes here that she won the competition there. And so she's just posting here for fun as she really enjoys seeing everybody else's cosplay. Oh, that's so lovely, that's isn't it? very kind of you, Zara, to join in on this one. We can't make Zara the winner again. No, we can't. Have a different Zara, winner, but but uh, we would very much like you to show you her entry as she's kindly posted these photos. So Zara says she got the figurine of Arachnopharia many years ago and it has been far and wide with her through about 12 house moves. Good grief. And it, she said, I had it in my craft room for months. 
while I worked on the dress, inspiring to me to make it as closely as I could to hers. And the beautiful wings were made by her friend James. Well, they're amazing. Well, it's absolutely top chop. That's it? lovely. And Zara posed so beautifully. Look, there's the figurines. So. Yeah. And um, there she is. And I'm the sure festival. they moved. I'm sure the, the fact. I've I was saying this earlier, I'm sure they moved, but they're amazing. Those wings were, were brilliant. They were very, very, they were very good. So now on to Karen. And who is Lost Soul? Here you go, John. Karen said something. Now, Karen. Is. Now, Karen's done this, this, this lovely Lost Soul here. Now, Karen says a little bit of backstory as to why I chose this piece to cosplay. Uh, my mother was always a firm believer in angels whether they were living in the form of humans, doing good deeds or spiritual ones. Now, some time ago, on October 6th, 1984, just turned 16, uh, a mum passed due to cancer. Just a week after uh, burying her mother, my best friend, sister, soulmate, was killed in a hit and run accident. Now, she, she drew upon the feelings of loss and sorrow from that time period to create, capture the essence of loss and sorrow the angel in lost soul must have felt. That's a, that's a bad, sad, uh, sad story there, but of course it, it reflects it in her choice for this cosplay. And I think she's done an amazing Absolutely. job there. Absolutely, she's done a really it? wonderful um, job of recreating that. So she's got a hand on her heart. Absolutely. And I'm sure those sentiments are, are absolutely, yeah. totally heartfelt. Well done. That's yeah. absolutely lovely, Karen. So now, now we okay. have Nikita again. <laughs> Nikita gets top twerk marked for her second cosplay here. Now, um, I'm just gonna read you a little bit about what she said. She said, now this is again with her um, Dragon Spark, who uh, is one of our plushies that we made last year and um, goes to lots of different places with Nikita that she posts about on the yes, Anstokes yes. Fans Forum. Some of you may have seen that. And anyway, she says here that Spark and I have done everything from scratch, except from the brown dress, which I bought in a secondhand store. And so here we see all the details, that's isn't that amazing. fabulous? That she's got the wings, she's got the tail, she's got the headdress <laughs> to match. There she is posing with Spark, but actually, the best I think one the is... absolute classic is the size Look at that sock. of that sock. Wow. I mean, well, scaled up. Nikita, I hope you're not hoping to that, have that <laughs> filled for Christmas because, gosh, that, that is That is lot. very fun. So well done for making that. That is really good. What a fun idea. Oh, that's lovely. There uh, we go. Now, finally, we have another entry, and this is Katie uh, for Safe Haven. And again, there's our little plushie. He's a popular guy. That He's a plushie. popular little chap, isn't he? <laughs> but look at the, the, the look of, of, of love on that, that face yeah, there. That's that is beautifully that is lovely recreated the, yes. the expression, isn't the it? The red top and the green top. So that's great. Thank you, Katie. So that has been an absolute joy looking at all these. And unfortunately, we just have one trophy. It's, and have the hard decision we did. of who is going to be the winner. Here it is. Now, this has been made by um, John and engraved. It's got um, a little, uh, yes, yeah. it's got a special engraving on there. And, and we will send Stoke, this to the winner. Yep. Stoke 2023 Cosplay Contest winner online. Yeah. So we had two others of these that were awarded at the Fantasy Forest Festival, and this is our online version. And the winner we have chosen is Sarah. Sarah. Hey, well done, well Sarah. Well done, Sarah. We really felt that the amount of effort and that went into your Raven cosplay was truly spectacular. And all those meters of cloth. Oh they, my goodness, they, they and they the so feathers well. and everything. So thank you so much. Stunning, stunning. Thank you to everyone. But thank you to everyone. Yes. You're all winners. You're we all will winners. We sending you all a medal and um, a signed little letter of congratulations from me. And um, I will be contacting you to get your addresses, so. Um, That's great. And again, ah, thank, thank you, you thank you, thank you, well. you so much, everyone, because it, it, it really does, it, it makes us smile. You, it yeah, you've given hearts. us a lot of pleasure. Um, and a lot of people watching this video, I'm sure have got a lot of pleasure from seeing that and maybe some inspiration. So for next we'll year, We'll be doing yes. this again next yes, year. Yes, we will indeed. Wait. So See get what? stitching, get those <laughs> fabrics out, start learning the YouTube tutorials and yeah. who knows what we can create for next year. Okay. So right. thanks again. See you again soon. Take everyone. care. Bye. Bye. Bye.